You're looking at the school fees in 2024 and your eyes are watering? Follow my video and let's explore this subject. Hi, I'm Michael from MDH, Accountants and Business Growth Specialists. Click the bell and subscribe to not miss out on any of our content that will allow your business to thrive. There's a lot of fear at the minute, VAT on school fees. So we're waiting for a budget in October 24. This month is August. So this is everything that I will consider um, when it comes to school fees as a business owner for you and your children. Follow my video and I'll explain more. Let's start from the beginning. Uh, school fees can be really eye-watering. So if you're not based around London and the surrounding areas, they are a bit cheaper, but then again, school fee, private school fees could be anywhere between 12 and 15 grand a year. You've got two or three kids, that's gonna add up to a sizable amount of money that is after tax and even before you've gone to Waitrose or Sainsbury's. Now, if you live where I live, which is in the Surrey region, uh, I think the most expensive school closest to me is about 31,000 a year per child and uh, the cheaper ones are around 20 to 22 per child without any extras so uh, the after tax that's eye-watering enough for one let alone two let alone three children if you decided to send them to private school it's a big investment now with the vat coming you've got 20 percent on whatever you're spending at the minute now that's going to be a lot of dosh if you're on the more expensive one that's closest to me that's 60 grand a year well, if you're taking 20% on top of that, that's £12,000 a year. That's going to be extra money that you are going to have to find. And there are a lot of parents that are sending their kids to private schools. They may have their own businesses, they may be doing well, and they may have a decent amount of money compared to the national average. But a lot of people are just right on the edge of whether they could afford it or not. So this is going to hurt a lot of middle England. Now, I get any parent that wants their best for their children. I don't think there's a single parent in the world, whether they're, whether they're a good or bad parent, that their desire would be for a better education, a better life for their kids, because that's what parents want. So I get why people want to send to private school education, and I also get people that think it's a waste of money, why you're doing it, and it's a complete load of rubbish. I get both sides. What you've got as a business owner is choice. As a business owner, you've never had more choice in your life um, than you would do compared to being employed and there's a lot of things that you can do. What is going to happen is there's going to be VAT on school fees because that's the way they're going to be able to claw in a load of extra money. Whether you've got one child, two child, three child, four child, whatever, you've got a 20% uplift coming. You need to deal with it. So the way to deal with it would be is how do you then factor that into your budgets? So my per previous videos I talk about planning I talk about budgets a lot. But what you need to do is you need to add this into your upside down uh, cash flow which is your net money that you need to live per month, which is hopefully your nice number, you then get to a, you get to a position of where you then need to add in another 12,000 for VAT on your school fees. You'll then need to gross that for corporation tax, and then you'll then need to add in your overheads that you've already got, your margin, and then your turnover would need to go up by that figure. So instead of feeling hard done by, which I completely get, what could you do now within your business that can give you another £12,000 after personal tax, after corporation tax, so you get that extra 12 grand in your pocket that James and Jemima can still go, into, still go to private school? Even better, could you actually sit there and say, right, instead of 12,000, I wanna wrap this up by 25, which is almost double. So it could almost become infectious. Yes, who would, who would want to pay less money? Everybody. Who really wants to pay VAT? Nobody. But if it's coming, there's nothing you can do about it. You either pull your child out or, or you do something about it. So the way that you do something about it would then be earned more money. And also, you could also potentially look at tax savings within your business. So if you've done a full blown tax review, and I'll give you a clue, there's our book here, 70 plus ways to pay less tax. Are you taking an opportunity of every single one of them to save tax? Even to the point of where you find a 12,000 pound saving in that book, not just this year, every single year. Because if you did, that could account over 10 years to 120 grand or more. Why wouldn't you be all over that? So with the school fees, I get why you wanna send your children to private school because it's really important. But instead of just sitting there feeling wounded and you're not sure exactly what to do, what could you do that was completely inspiring, completely fulfilling? which allowed you then to not even worry about that 12,000 pound extra school fees. It means that you're getting that money because your business is then becoming more profitable. 
You then give your children the best leapfrog up that they can get, which allows you to hit probably one of your personal goals. If you would like us to review your profitability on a two-page report, if you allow us access to your cloud accounting package, we can do this for you as an initial gift. So there'll be no charge for this. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll run through the report quickly for half an hour to see exactly where your business has been over the last 12 months and compare it to the last 12 months. You may then be able to see initial opportunities where you increase your profit, which will allow you to send your children to private school to give them the best chance of future they can get. And also, I said it in the middle of the video, click below for our link, 70 plus ways to pay less tax. Completely free and there's loads of tax saving tips in there that could earn you thousands of pounds every single year.